everyone, welcome back to Mech Weekly with a special guest host, me, the Coos. Can you believe it? So, for this next segment, we're going to discuss baseball films. And who better to help us out than our friends in the booth? Well, they're not really my friends, but I sure do wish they were. Gary, Ron, and Keith. Struck it! Oh, this is nasty. Good hitting. Got it! You know, there have been a lot of baseball films made over the years. you got Bull Durham and Eight Men Out and the Bad News Bears and on and on and on. There have been a lot of actors who've appeared in those movies. Uh, Ray Liotta and, and uh, Kevin Costner. Who's done a, the best job of looking like they actually knew how to play the game? Well, my favorite character, he didn't look like he knew how to play the game, but uh, it, it fit his character, was Tim Robbins and Bull Durham. That was my favorite baseball character. Well, I think for me, um, I think most actors is just brutal at playing <laughs> baseball players. They usually are. But I thought Tom Salk was pretty good. It wasn't a great movie, Mr. Baseball, but he had a nice left-handed hack as he went over to the Japanese leagues, and he got the girl at the end. That's always good. Which film captured what baseball is really like? I'd have to go with Bull Durham. That uh, pretty much, I think, encapsulated what the minor leagues was all about. I could relate to that film from my minor league experiences. I think that film just hit it right dead on. Right? And for me, I think love, for love of the game, Kevin Costner tried to show an aging pitcher trying to come back in the big leagues. I thought he looked pretty good uh, pitching at Yankee Stadium. But the one I love is uh, Feel the Dreams. Every time I hear that at the end, Dad, you want to have a catch, so it always brings a tear to my eye. What do you about you, Keith? What's your favorite? Well, my favorite film is The Natural. I thought that The Natural captured the uh, mystique of that era, um, but there was no television and you heard games on the radio. And I'm putting a vote for Eight Men Out. I've always been a huge John Sales fan. I thought it was a great slice of real baseball history. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Mets Weekly's Booth Talk. Thanks, fellas. If you have any questions for Gary, Ron, or Keith, go to SNY.TV. That's on the Internet. Get with the program!